Let's look at how to graph compound inequalities. A compound inequalities, when you have two or more inequalities, you want to find a solution set that works for both of them. So we're going to look at the problem. Graph the solution set for 2x minus 6 is less than negative 14, or 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to 1. We will start by solving the first inequality. 2x minus 6 is less than negative 14. So we need to add 6 to both sides of the problem, and that would give us 2x is less than negative 8. Then we divide both sides by 2, leaving us with x is less than negative 4. Since there's only one variable, we can graph it on a number line. We'll put an open circle on negative 4, since negative 4 is not actually part of the solution. But negative 4.0001 is. So the open circle means that all the numbers up to negative 4, but not including negative 4. Next, we will be shading to the left of negative 4, since all these numbers are part of the solution set. Be sure to also shade the arrow, since the graph goes on forever in that direction, and they're all part of the solution. Now let's solve 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to 1. First we'll add negative 3 to both sides, giving us 2x is less than or equal to negative 2. Then we'll divide each side by 2, leaving us with x is less than or equal to negative 1. Again, we're going to graph this, but this time we're going to be putting a closed circle on negative 1, since it is part of the solution set. The problem says that either this inequality or the other needs to be true. So we will combine these two graphs to get our solution. What if the problem had said 2x minus 6 is less than negative 14 and 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to 1? Well, in that case, our solution would have to make both inequalities true. So the solution would have to be the overlap of the two graphs, or x is less than negative 4. Let's look at one more example. 4 is greater than 3x plus 3, or 9 is greater than or equal to negative 5x plus 3. First, let's solve 4 is greater than 3x plus 3. We would add negative 3 to each side of the inequality, giving us 1 is greater than 3x. Then we divide each side by 3, leaving us with 1 third is greater than x, or we could have written that as x is less than one-third. Again, we're going to graph this. Next up is 9 is greater than or equal to negative 5x plus 3. We'll need to add negative 3 to both sides of the inequality, giving us 6 is greater than or equal to negative 5x. Then we'll divide each side by negative 5. Remember, when we're dividing an inequality by a negative number, we need to flip the inequality sign. So greater than or equal becomes less than or equal. So now we have negative 1 and 1 fifth is less than or equal to x. Or we could write that as x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and 1 fifth. Again, let's graph that. Since the problem used the word or, the solution set is when we merge those two graphs and you'll notice that it includes all possible numbers. Now, what would be the solution if the problem had said AND instead of OR? Well, the solution set would have to make both inequalities true, so the solution graph would be where the two graphs overlap, and we would then write that answer as negative 1 and 1 fifth is less than or equal to x, which is less than 1 third. When you're solving compound inequalities, First, solve and graph each inequality separately, and then, if the problem says OR, then only one of the inequalities needs to be true, and the solution can be found by merging the two graphs. And if the problem says AND, then both inequalities need to be true. So the solution set only includes where the two graphs would overlap.